Hello, hello. <laughs> ah, I'm slow. Hello, hello, I'm slow. <laughs> Let me get over here. And I'm actually not even ready, ready but oh well, too bad for me. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, so I know there's a million videos on altered paper clips. I already, I get it. But I'm in a dilemma. You know, I got this entire mess, and so I'm figuring on, listen, this is what happens. I have all this crap. Look at all the shit. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. So I have so much crap, and I figured, okay, I'm just going to stop now. I got this big jar of clips from Hobby Lobby on clearance, 325, and it's got a whole bunch of different sizes. Plus, you know, we have the regular ones, and... Seriously, I'm just going to sit down and make a buttload of clips because what are we going to do with all this? And you know what I do? I make so many journals that sometimes, and then I'm on a design team, so like you have a deadlines, you know? So I get done with these projects and what I do is I take my whole desk and I just scoop everything into this box. <laughs> you know what I mean? All the scraps and I just set this box over here. And so now I have these boxes of scraps. journals I've ever made like this is deep down in the horde girls <laughs> you know what I'm saying and so I'm gonna just start doing this I'm gonna just start using up my scraps in between everything and alter like the clips and the this is and the that's is I'm gonna do clips right now because that's what I have and I don't have any prepared or anything all I know is I have all this junk and I got to be able to make a day clip or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have glue. And then somebody sent me these. Now listen, people send you things and after a year or two, you forget who sent it. Okay. So, so I'm just saying, okay, <laughs> I can't remember every tidbit. I'm really sorry. I think I th actually think these were Stacy, but I'm not quite sure. Anyways, or it could have been Kristen. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but you guys, it's so fun. We send each other so much crap. I can't keep track. Plus, if we send each other multiple stuff, you know, sometimes you do that. Like Lisa and I and me and Kristen, and, you know, everybody, we send each other so much crap. I can't remember. <laughs> and now me and my mom are doing it. We're setting it. Okay. So anyways, I have these. And another thing is I was getting messages. Okay. You gotta start back doing your videos, but you should just do short tutorials. But for whatever reason, right now I can't. So just get your coffee and chill out because this is gonna be another long winded BS, <laughs> you know, from me. That's just how it is. So somebody sent me these, and it's the cutest thing ever. They're clips made out of these, made out of these nickel and dime things, which I thought was cool. And it's been sitting here for months, you know, and I haven't done it. So I'm going to do it. And it's a little, look, she clipped the end out and made a banner out of it. And she put a little tucky spot card in there. I think it was Stacy, isn't it you, Stacy? I'm sure it was, but I don't know. I know this is her clip too, for sure. And I have a bunch of clips here that you girls have sent me, you know how we do. And I have a bunch on my wall. And anyways, you know, so we're going to just hang out. And then Diane um, cut me all these. <laughs> I was doing a video trying to make these bows without the right cutter, you know. <laughs> you know, I try to make things when I don't have it, whatever. Anyway, she had the cutter for this and sent me all these snippets. And so they've been sitting here and sitting here and I just started digging into using them. But these bows are cute. I'm sure we could use these bows on some of these clips. Now this one's probably too big, but, but I'm just saying I have a whole box and she pre-made some, you know, just so I could see how it looks and what to do, but they're cute. And I know we could put them on clips and of course everybody puts flowers on them too, you know, but, but you know, I have all this crap. <laughs> I have all this junk, you know what I'm saying? And now, so, you know, let's get on it. So we're going to do this. 
What are we going to call this? Crap clips? <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> In group, if I posted that, oh my God, that would be so funny. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I won't do it. I won't say that. <laughs> but um, what could we say? Wow, oh, I, I had it yesterday on that video. What did I call it? Can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, but I have a whole bunch, you know. I made up before, you know, just the fabric kind with the pulleys on the end, you know, and little buttons and, you know, just the easy kind with scraps of leftover ribbon. For whatever reason, I can't seem to use ribbon on my tags. I don't know. I got to think about it. But I can use them on clips. So, see, everybody's got a weird thing. And that's what I. So, all my ribbon usually goes on clips. Just so you know. <laughs> just in case you're wondering. But there was a reason. Oh, I was digging in here because I have... Everybody's clips in here that they sent me, I thought, but you know, maybe not. <laughs> you never know with me. And then I have these giant ones, which are super fun. And I have these in my shop every once in a while. I happen to be sold out at the moment. But I have one for me. <laughs> so, so, you know, so I think we should all just spend some time cleaning. <laughs> You know what I mean? And organizing and doing this because it gets just completely out of control, seriously. So I think, first of all, this would be fun to make a couple of these with these, whatever they're called. And I'm making a journal coming up right now, and it's going to be listed in my shop when I get it done. I'm going to be making quite a few of them. Um, vintage wallpaper and wrapping paper journals. And so I'm going to be using these because this is some of the paper that I used. Oh, my gosh. I did the cover yesterday, remember? And um, now I was doing the signatures, too. So so it was kind of fun. I'm doing two signatures, and I got them all done and sewed up and everything. So now, you know. Anyway, so I'm all excited. So that's what I'm doing this for, too, is for that. And um, so that's why I have these. And so these, I'm just going to keep it simple and just wrap around. And okay, let me get rid of this. So we'll just see how this all works out. Now I have all kinds of junk, you know, over here. <laughs> all kinds of it. So we'll just see how this goes. And I'm out of cookies. I'm really upset about it. But my husband brought me a one of these which is really cute. A Cadbury caramel egg. Never had one. <laughs> Not that I need more sweets, but I don't know. I guess I'm getting to be known to so have sweets while I'm doing this. Oh, and here's a baby tag. See, you have all this stuff. So I'm going to get my garbage can, right? And everything I can't use on my dang clips, I'm throwing in the garbage, right? So we got to go clip crazy here and make some stuff and clean up some of the scraps. God, literally, I'm my garbage can right now, what I'm doing is trying to find a spot for everything I've stacked on top of it that's not garbage. <laughs> I have my box of wrapping paper, my file folders. Okay. Finally. Okay. Because we're going to clean as we go, see? But you know what? Literally, all these little scraps of paper, they bend over, you know, on your clip. And you can make the little banner things out of them. Literally, every little scrap we have on our table, we can use, you know. I mean, if you want to get weird about it, you know, there's a lot of uh, those kind of people that like to use every little bit, you know. And you really can if you really want to. So, you know. The only thing that I don't have sitting here is usually we take one, you know, bigger thing, like, as the focal point. And usually it's flower or an image or this or that's a, and I really don't know since I got all of this junk. <laughs> I haven't uh, pre-planned anything. Uh, of course, let's just go with the flow. Okay, so I don't know. I might have to dig out in my flowers or something you know what I'm saying but these are cute and this was Stacy she sent me cutest journal over here too and I always dig in there for 
for inspiration. If you don't, um, you know, have any, then you just get someone else's journal, buy one or swap. And then it's like, oh my God, every page is really fun. You know, somebody else's work is always fun, you know? Okay. So, and then I have all this fabric too. So literally I think I could make clips for a year. So it gets kind of overwhelming. <laughs> gets kind of overwhelming and I have a dog biscuit buddy what the heck okay so let's look at what she did here these are so cute okay so she's got a little paper hinge up here could be washi tape or whatever it is you want to use or I was thinking you could just fold it over too we know the end like this right and then stick it in there and glue it like that, right? I mean, I don't know, you guys. I'm new at this. I've only done one altered clip video before this. So, you know, really. Is that where she has it? Let's look. Oh, she's got it on the bottom rung. Okay. Okay. There we go. I think that would be just fine like that. You could almost staple it, too, because if we're going to um, layer, layer, you know. Of course, bending it makes it shorter. Let's see how. Well, it's still longer than hers, so I guess it's all right. I don't know how. If you want to make your own hinge or if you want to just fold it over. but So now, see, there's room. So some, sometimes when I do these clips, I like to have the exact size you know like i'd like to have this size so there's not a bunch of wiggle room but let me just look here let me move this let me look here and see um where all my clips are i think they're right here oh. yeah okay so when i do the altered ones like these are plastic and the colored kind, I don't know, they don't really work that great. So I always make sure you get the metal sturdy kind, which those are not. Where the heck are they for Pete's sakes? See, I got such a mess, I can't even see where my clips are. Here's one. But this one's probably too small or perfect. We'll see. We'll see. No, nope, a little bit too small. Dang. I'm still going to look, though, because I know I found these vintage ones, and they're like copper. Here they are, but I think these are even smaller, but they're really tight, too. Yeah, these are even smaller. Okay. Well, I'll have to use this one, then. That's okay. Okay, so I think I'm just going to staple it. And I will just get a couple of these done. Right? Staple it on. And then we can embellish over the top. And what she did is, well, she cut hers into a banner shape. But you really don't have to because it is open already. But that was super cute. So we'll do it. Do it to it just like she did. I really appreciate that when somebody sends you a rack. That's what she did. She sent me this little rack. And she had these in it, you know, and a few examples, which I thought was really a good idea. And I'm going to start doing that with like, you know, for the new people in group and stuff. If you send them a rack, send them an example. And like, um, she did this too for the jewelry. Like, I don't know how to make charms. I didn't know how, you know. And so she sent me some charmy stuff and then charms, you know, so I can see how the heck. You put it together, you know what I mean? So that's really nice when when that happens. So anyway, so we'll just put a couple of these together, see? And then we'll just layer, 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 and then we'll have all these cute clippies, right? So we'll just get um, a spot to put all this junk. And, ooh, I have these. I love these little rosettes, you know? But these are the big kind. Um, I have these in my shop. They're really... I love them because, you know, they're kind of oversized. Okay, so let's do a couple of these. So that then we can layer a couple. And then I have 
I've been watching too, you know, we all watch each other and I watch, of course I always watch Lori. <laughs> Are you guys talking to me and I'm ignoring you? Should I turn this on so I can see you and say hi? <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll turn the sound down and see if I can say hi to anybody. If I know how to, if I know how to find myself. <laughs> I went through this yesterday, looking, looking for my own self is weird. So I don't really know. Sometimes I come right up and sometimes I don't. So we'll just see. So far, I don't see myself. <laughs> so far, I don't see myself. Oh, there I am. Oh, there's a few of you. Hi, guys. Let me turn this down. Okay. Hi. I know I got a lot of new subs. So what I do is, this is how I do it. I do really long ones, okay? Because, you know, long videos. And then I go back and do the short tutorials after I get them all done. Because um, I like to craft together, you know, for some time. And I know people like to just go on YouTube and hurry up and just get the video done. So I get that. So I do both. So I have long ones and I have short ones. But I was doing those Just Junkin' series there for a while. And they were all long-winded. <laughs> and I know when you're new, you like short informational videos. But now I'm just a YouTube junkie and I could sit on here for hours sometimes because I'm at home and this is what I do, you know. So sometimes I sit here for a couple hours and work on stuff, you know. And so I just turn it on and see who's here and screw around. But some people are getting real serious about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You better start doing short, more short videos. I don't have time to sit here and watch an hour and a half video for a paperclip. <laughs> like, I know, but you're missing the point. Just chill out and hang out, right? Just chill out, dude. Right? Okay, let's see who's here. Do I even have a chat up? <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Tanya, hi. Okay, I'll say hi here now that I got you guys all up here. Bethany is joyful. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi, Lim. Hi, you guys. I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> I'm eating chocolate. Um, I know, right? Do what you want. My kind of girl. No, I know, but I'm just saying, you know. I know people like... I know when I was new, oh my God, I didn't want all this long-winded baloney. But once you get going and doing it, you know, you kind of calm down. <laughs> you know what I mean? At first, you know, you're kind of in the freak out stage, you know, a little bit, or at least I was. I'm still kind of freaking out, but yeah, Mary, these are good. I never had one before. <laughs> Oh my God, I got to go to the store. Well, you know, I've been injured and I can't, I can't really drive. And yesterday I, I had to drive for the first time, you know, because my husband had to go back to work. But anyway, I haven't been able to go out to get anything. Oh, see this little dime one now. This will fit right on a small one because I like to have different sizes, you know. So I'll put this one on a small one, this dime. Remember these? Oh my gosh. Remember when we used to go to the casino and this is what we got? That was so much funner. I remember when <laughs> when we could spend, see me and my mom like to go to the casino and spend the day together and it's just fun. We eat out and screw around and hoot and holler and you know, all that. <laughs> and um, it used to be, you know, back in the day. Now, I don't know. Everybody has their own opinions about casinos, so whatever. I'm just saying, when I go, I'm not going to go if I don't have any friggin' money. You know, so, you know, back in the day, though, you could, you know, the nickel machines, shoot, you could take, you know, 50 bucks and gamble all day and have a good old time, you know. 
but now it's like, shoot, I won't even go unless I have a hundred or two. Cause what's the point? You know, you know what I mean? I know it's really good. And the only thing is, is it broke and now it's oozing all over. And I don't have any coffee because I don't have any milk. <laughs> And I don't like coffee without cream. And I haven't been able to get out to get any. And so my husband says he'll get it. Okay. Okay. So he comes home last night. Hey, babe. Did you get the milk? Nope. <laughs> Dang. Right. Okay. So I got a few, right? I should keep going. Let's see how many I got here. We can embellish now. Right? Okay, so all we do is cut. Let's see. Yeah, I just like to chip chat, you know. That's just how it is. I like to do tutorials too, but right now I don't have a tutorial to do. So and I don't like sitting there trying to think up crap. It's like I just make my stuff. And when I have a tutorial to do, I do it. And when I want to hang out, that's what I do. So that's just it. <laughs> then we have the little Facebook group. You know, well, it's not so little anymore. I have my shop, you know. So, I mean, so I'm busy doing this junk all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's constant. It's just constant. Okay, so now I know what journals I'm going to be making. <laughs> I call them crap clips. <laughs> uh, it's funny. <laughs> oh, they're on clearance. It must have been because my husband is so cheap. He must have got him at Rite Aid. He likes to shop and get everything on sale. He's so funny. I don't know where he got that from. Must have been his parents, you know, but I wonder it's so funny. Okay. So. Literally. I'm just going to pick up uh, something. <laughs> I want, you know, a piece of lace or something. So I want to see what I got here. I got this. So we'll just use it, right? Okay. We'll just use it. That's all. I could have actually stapled it on, but I didn't think that far ahead. And this is kind of thick. So when I get a thick piece, I like to mimic the banner cut on the bottom. I don't know why I do that, but I just do if I can get it, what a horrible cut job. I looks like a kindergartner. <laughs> Dang. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, so, you know, my husband works out away, and so I'm home. And this is what I do, so. So I just like to come and hang out. See, now I got this cut like that, see. So I could have folded this lace over too, but like I said, I didn't think that far ahead. So I'll just put some glue on it. Yeah, we'll just see what goes on here. Listen, I have got to make a dent, seriously. We've got to make a dent in the scrap, seriously, you guys. I mean, how can we, how can we keep doing this with all the scraps? Like, I'm just, I'm overloaded with it. Because I don't stop and take the time to do this. Because I'm always on the journals, you know. And I have orders and, you know, things to do, you know. <laughs> I have, you know, journals to make. Right now, you don't even understand how many I got to make. Seriously. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know. And I'm sitting here making a dang clip. And that's why I didn't do it. Because I'm like, holy cats, I can't stop to do those friggin' things. <laughs> but I am. It is an element. So, see now, and I'm covering up the staple, too, when you put the lace on. 
I'm probably doing it backwards too, actually. You do have to kind of think about how you're going to clip this on. But I like to have both ways, you know, because otherwise you're only clipping them on the one side. So you gotta got to kind of make sure, you know, you got both, both ways. And this one I did. The loop is this way and this one it's this way. <laughs> okay, so we're good. just putting lace, just putting lace on these because that's what I got sitting here. So that's what we're going to do. There's no thinking and fretting and worrying about it, right? We sometimes we just get overwhelmed with all the junk. I know I do. Tags are my worst. Like I sit here and stare at them things. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you really don't have to like just put some junk on it really. But I can't seem to do it yet. Even still, I can't seem to do it. I don't know why. I just agonize over it. <laughs> I'm getting stressed out just thinking about making tags. <laughs> Because there's so many things you could do. Like, I'm just, oh, my God, you know. And so what we started doing in group is, um, I got the link in the description box, too. So we um, we started making tags. Once a month, I pick a couple of names, an admin or a mod, and then I do a couple of, you know, members, too. And um, we send them tags. For their wall of inspiration is what we're calling it. And um, it's just fun, you know. And um, so every month we're sending them out. And so, so you know, I have a wall. And, you know, right here I put a bunch of them. And then over here on this side, my whole wall. And I've shown it in group a couple of times. Of all the junk you guys send me. You know, cards and letters and, you know, tassels. I got all this kinds of crap hanging up. Aprons. I think Anne sent me that apron that was so pretty. Turquoise and Teresa sent me the, you know, just just all the crap we send each other. And so anyway, I enjoy it so much. And I thought, boy, I know the other girls would enjoy it too. So, so this is just this. I ran out of that kind. So this is just a scrap. I'm just going to stick it on here. Whatever, you know. So anyway, <clears throat> so we started doing that. So I started just doing one person just to see how it would go over and everybody did it. So now we're up to three people a month, but I'm getting behind. I can't, I can't. So I'm doing, making sure I get all the mods and all the admin and everything and a few of the, the members, but I just can't keep up to, to all that. You know what I mean? But I still have the idea you know, and I still follow it through, you know, and you guys help me do that. So, so it's fun to, and you know what, look at this piece. I'm going to use it because it's still cutting that banner shape and I'm using it. Look, I'm going to put it right on there. I'm using it. Dang it. Every little piece, dang it. <laughs> but anyways, so even if I can't do it, you know, that's kind of how the ninjas came about too. We got that secret ninja society, you know, I have all these ideas, but I can't do them all. That's why it's so much fun that, you know, Stacy Kreese took over the ninjas and, and, um, you know, so we have lots of fun things happening if, you know, it's just a fun outlet. You know, some of the girls like to, like to have little groups and they like to do little holiday things and they like to do little, just, it's just fun, you know, so whatever. So if one of the girls says, hey, I want to do a little, you know, Valentine thing, I say, sure, we'll just do it up, you know. So you got any ideas or anything you want to do? It's super fun. You know, we got a big group now, so it's kind of fun because you can test test out the waters, you know. It's kind of cool once it gets this big, you can. And look, here's a screwed up piece of threads. I bet you this is from ripping this piece of fabric and you know the threads on the end. Look at there. I'll just put it right down on there. Right? We'll just do it like that. Of course, that's probably the end. I should wait. That's a topping, isn't it? That's what I call frosting. We're doing the base, Kelly, not the frosting yet. Of course, you could, though. By the time I did that and um, put a button on there and put some little thing on there, it'd be all right. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. No second guessing. Let's just glue it on what we find. <laughs> How about that? We'll just glue it on. Just glue it to it, right? 
Oh my gosh. I have so many. Oh, you're the opposite, Lynn. Oh boy. I'm telling you, I need, I have so much. Now listen, I have a bunch of tags sitting here. Base is made, you know, but the frosting is what I call it. You know, look at all of these. Oh my God. I found this vintage tablecloth. And so I, of course, put it on some tags, right? And then sew it around the edge. And I left some of the frill, you know, on the side and stuff. And they're really fun. But, you know, you still got to put the topping on in them. And the frills on the top or whatever. And it's brown and cream. So it's going to have to be a certain kind of journal, you know. But I love these. I've had them forever sitting here waiting. And then I got these weird ones with the pockets in here. I forget what this was. It was this pink. And see the sewing on it? The quilting? It was really weird. It was this big pink heart, you know, with this pocket in it and this weird lace. I don't know what it was. I think it, I really don't know, but I'm like, oh, that's weird. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> I'm cutting it up and making tags, but I still have to do the toppings because it's weird and it's plastic. It's like, I don't know what year from like the sixties thing. I don't know what it is, but it's really weird. Right. I know. See, it's, it's crazy. But anyway, okay, so we got three, four, five, six clips. Hey, see, it goes pretty fast if you quit talking. <laughs> if you quit getting distracted. Okay, so now what do we put on frosting? Okay, so let's just see what what I got laying here, literally. Seriously, let's just, what, she put um, fabric and fabric and, you know, just scraps of junk. So let's just see. Let's just see what I can find here. I got um, I got a paper doily. Um, I got a, this paper thing. This would be good on one too, but not for that. Let's see. I got, ooh, I got this pretty white. Um, ooh, this fabric was so pretty. Look at it satin with the flowers. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh. But I don't know. Will it go on here? Should I just do it? I don't know. Shoot. I don't know. Shoot. I don't know if I wanted white, but we'll just do it. I guess. What the heck? Right? We'll just do it. Let's see what it ends up looking like. I don't know. So I got white little strips. Let's see what else we got. Here's a muslin piece. And here's another little muslin piece. Let me look, see what I got here. Got to kind of look and see what you got to work with here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I got so much crap sitting here. Here's another kind of lace, which would be cool maybe over the top of that. That would be neat. So let me see here. And then I have this big hunk. Okay. Ooh, and here's another hunk from another doily. Let me just see what I got here. You know, you got to see what you got. And then I got some buttons. I figured buttons would be good on these because the colors, you know, it's an orange and a blue and green. You know what I mean? So it's like I figured I could do some buttons. But let me see what I got here. Oh, I got these cute little crocheted things. They won't go on here, though. Let me see. Okay. I got some sheet music, more little tickets. And tickets, tickets. Hey, we got to do ticket ones. I always like to use tickets. More doily. Okay. I'm looking for fabric is what I'm doing, but I really got a mess. Seriously, really big mess. Because this is like from... Tons of journals. <laughs> Tons of altered envelopes and journals. Here's some more cheesecloth. is always good. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I got this pretty leaf. but Okay. So. There. Now, the only thing we have to look for is the... Focal point. I got some blue little flowers. These are cute. 
too. And I have these strips. We're going to make some out of strips too, because you know how you got those sometimes at the end of everything. And this is not double sided, but I can finagle. I can finagle it, you know, because that's going to match my journal I got next. Hey, this is going to be nice to clean my desk off and look at the new stamp I got. 66 cents on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I don't know why I got it, but it's just cool. 31? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just random, you know, number. I like the numbers. Okay, so here's some pink. Seriously, I'm sorry, but I'm looking for fabric stuff to go on top here. And we're cleaning at the same time. Okay. So let's see. And I have this red and white too, but that doesn't go with it either. See, there's such a mishmash. And there's some beads. Hmm. I'm digging here. Somebody sent me this too little pocket thingy. See, just out of a scrap. That's all it is. See? I'm digging here. And then I have these little tiny bows. These are going to be really cute on these. This red and white isn't going to match, but I have these in my shop too. A bunch of different colors. I love these. Look how cute they are. Little gingham. I have pink and white, green and white, yellow and white. Black and white, red and white. Oh, that's so cute. But not on this one. Right? Not on these, but I'm going to use them. And I have charms out here. I just have so much crap, but I'm just looking now for the right. Oh, here's the black and white. Now, black and white might be okay on these. Look how cute these are. Adorable. Yeah, the black and white looks good, doesn't it? It's cute. We'll use it eventually here. You know, we'll use everything. See, there's just random ribbon, which we could just glue down. You know, I like to just, the scrunch and hold method. You guys know that I came up with that technical term. Scrunch and hold. It's already been inked, I can see, and it's just a snippet off the end. So I just crunch it all up and put the glue down and crunch it all up and hold it there. Now a lot of them sew and put a put um, running stitch through it, but eh. I just scrunch it up like that and hold it down, see? And so you got ribbon down the side. And now I can put a piece of this cheesecloth down that I found right here. I just rip a hunk off of it. Like this. Okay. And then put it down right there. And then we can just find a button or something that we like to put um, over top of that cheesecloth. Right? So let's see. What are we going to use? Well, I got a blue button, but... I don't know if that looks good with orange. I'll put it on this one. That'll be cute. Let's see. And then I don't like this cheesecloth either. It's pink and it's, I don't like it. I will use the regular color. If I can find it anywhere. <laughs> or... Uh, where the heck is it? My regular color cheesecloth. Hmm. Well, we can use this, I guess. I tried coffee staining the blush pink, and it just ended up looking like, you know, brown kind of or whatever. So that was dumb. But it's okay. Okay, I like this better. So it's just coffee stained. Eh, 
Okay. And so, so far we have that. And now I will find something to put on top. Let's see. I have so much junk out. But as we go here, it'll get cleaner and cleaner. And then I can see more and more. <laughs> uh, I love this line stamp too. I finally got a line stamp. I'm trying to throw it up in my basket. Yay, I get it. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for some kind of flower or button or something for that. And I am digging on my desk because this is what we're doing. Making all of our clips out of scraps. But I ain't finding the scrap of what I want right now. <laughs> Ooh, here's the blue and white. Ooh, this is going to be a cute one. Look at this one. I'm all excited because it's got the blue and the lace. And then I have the blue and white little gingham bow. And then I have the blue little button. And I have blue little flowers, you know, so I can mix them all up. So this one's really going to be cute when I get to it. I quit screwing around with this one. I can't seem to make it for nothing. I'm looking for a dang flower. You know, how hard could it be? <laughs> How hard can it be? But, oh, yeah, I'm having a heck of a time here. Looking for one. I got this big purple thing. It's not going to work. So I anticipated this, that I wasn't going to find enough flowers or images for the front pieces. So I might have to break out my flowers or my Tim Holtz people or something, right? I haven't used many of my Tim Holtz people yet. That'd be fun. I got this thing that I found at the at a craft, or well, I don't know, just a sale or something. Look at it! Isn't that cool? Oh my god, I love it so much. So I put all my Tim Holtz in here, <laughs> so I could find something or flowers or something. Something I can put on here. I really wanted a flower, but no. And they are right here. They had 50% off. I wanted creamers, but they didn't have creamers when I was there. So I got one of everything, please. <laughs> one of every color, thank you paper studio um little flowers with the pearl center i got a multi a pink green red oh and i got these teeny ones pink and yellow tiny ones those are really cute and then a an orange and coral pink oh and i love the teal and green is my favorite and then i'm going to use one of these neutrals right now so i'll put that right here and that will be super cute and done, right? And then we can get on to this blue one because this blue one's going to be really cute too. Okay, so we'll just put the little flower right there. Oh, it's cute. See? That's cute. I like it. And I will just put them over here on my little tray. And we'll just keep it, keep moving here. Now we'll do the blue one. And the blue one, I have all kinds of pretty stuff, but I still feel like I want one more piece of lace or something over top of this. Let's see what I got here. I could just use another kind. Let's see. I'll just use this. And we'll just put it over the top as a little scallop. It's kind of scalloped. I need another Aliens. I use Aliens from Walmart. 
I really do like it the best as far as grabbing fast and drying time. It's really good. Okay. So I just put the little scallop on top. See? And then now I can put the little blue bow on. Oh my gosh. I love these little blue bows. I think they're in my shop. They're, I think it's 10 for 250 or something like that. But it's an add-on order. Like I don't send out $2 orders. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's an add-on. Well, now I kind of covered up the scallop, so there was no point in putting that there. I guess I could just put the bow there, I guess. We'll see what it looks like. I wanted something else on there, but dang, it's cute just like this. Dang, it's cute just like this. But I could put a little cheesecloth under there if I can get the right color dang it well they have every color imaginable now so it's like there's so many choices anymore it gets to be it gets to be too much sometimes too many choices seriously I'm having a heck of a time right now. Sorry, but I'm looking for my cheesecloth and I can't find it. Here's blue. Blue might be okay, huh? Piece of blue. I really just wanted plain, but I can't seem to find it. Hmm. Oh, and here's the red and white. I think I showed you the red and that was cute. Brown, I guess brown would be good too. My mom likes the brown too. But I really was looking for a plane. But can't find it when you're looking for it. That's for dang sure. Right? Sheesh. Okay. Hi, Emma. <laughs> Hi, April. What are you guys doing today? Hanging out? That's what I'm doing. It's kind of rainy and stuff in Seattle and kind of cold or whatever. And I'm still recovering from my fall down in my hoard. <laughs> so... Uh, this is cute with the little blue bow and the little, right? Got the cheesecloth under there. And we could just put, now I got these flowers at Hobby Lobby. I don't get anything unless it's on sale. I just get what's on sale when I go in there. And they had these, they're like rubber though. It's weird, but they have all different colors, but I like them because there's blue and then, you know, the coral, and this was supposed to be pink, but it's not. And the cream color, I don't know. I kind of like them. But they're weird, too, at the same time. Because, like I say, they're rubber. I don't know. It's kind of strange. But, and then they got a round thing on the bottom. So, anyway, at base, I just cut it off flat. And then glue them down. These would work good, too, with hot glue if you use hot glue. But I don't usually use hot glue in journals. It's just is too heavy and you know the glue it rips right off like it's just not it doesn't adhere it stays on the top of everything so it's just not good oh that's cute with a little blue flower these are cute see and we'll just keep keep on keeping on here okay but we'll have to go back and make little little inserts for them all because they got little pockets right there, see? You know what I mean? So now what I'll do is once I get these all made, then I'll go back and do like this really short tutorial for people who want to just know how to do these. And then that's it. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? That's how I kind of do it, just because, I don't know. <clears throat> I do both. Okay, so this one has the cheesecloth on it already, and I'm looking for my buttons right now. I know they were sitting right here. Yep. So I kind of want to use an oversized brownish button on there because I just want to be obnoxious with this one. <clears throat> I think. I don't know why. I just kind of do. <laughs> I just want to be obnoxious with this one. And sometimes I like to, it has big holes in it so you can thread something through and make a little bow like twine or something. But um, I don't see any sitting here. But I do have enough eyelash trim to choke out any buddy. So <laughs> I could put a little, I don't know what eyelash trim. I don't think it would even look like a bow, would it? I'm looking for some twine, but I just don't see it. So it's okay. I like it just plain too. Or sometimes you can set a jewel inside of it or something too. There. This is cool. And then we're going to make little um, cards for the insides. So it's going to have a pullout right here. So it's a tuck a clip and a tuck spot clip. So that's really cool to have a tuck spot clip. Dang it. Right? <laughs> I like that. And these now I'm kind of making fairly plain because... I know that, for instance, if you put it up to this, you don't really want a bunch, and you want it to be contrasting so that it sticks out right. So I don't want to, you know, have too much junk on it because my pages are so embellished and so bright that I'm trying to tone it down now. You know what I mean? <laughs> trying to tone it down. Oh, I could have something here. Let's see, what could I do? What could I do? All this junk I got laying here. Um, ooh, and I have words too. I got all these big words, Tim Holtz. I'm all excited. So I got all his good words. It's going to be fun to dig into those. I haven't even opened them yet. I'm looking for maybe. Then I have these words too, the small ones. I, I haven't opened these yet either. So I'm excited to use them eventually here. I'm going to dig in. But I'm just looking for something else to put on here. Some little thing. It's good for people, but they're so big. And these are so small. Oh, here's two little girls when dresses these are kind of cute two little girls with dresses on but I don't know they'd be cute on this one but now we need something behind them because they're lost in the white lace so now What can we find? Some sheet music behind them. Because that is a different color. So let's see. If we can get the little girls to pop off that or not. If we ink the edge of them. Let's see how it would look. Huh? If I can find my ink dauber now in this mess. Here it is. I always ink the edge of these. I 
just gives it another dimension, and I don't like those white edges staring at me. <laughs> I don't like the white edges staring back at me. It's kind of tough to get inside there, though, ain't it? Okay, and then I'll ink the edge of this paper, and we'll see if how that looks. Even though I was cheating and dug in my Tim Holtz. But there's nothing like focal point-ish right here. It's all scraps. Unless I use buttons and flowers, but and butterflies, I suppose I could use butterflies too. But I wanted to try one of these Tim Holtz girls. Because I'm going to be doing a vintage journal here. Pretty soon. So I know I'm going to need some different kinds of stuffies. Oh yeah, this makes them pop out a little more with the sheet music. And then we could do some trim. The eyelash trim can go behind the sheet music and give it a little, a little zhuzh. A little sugar, sugar. Right? So let's try it out and see what it looks like. I'll put the eyelash trim behind here so it sticks out. So let's just see how this looks. That's the trick to get all the hairs to go one way. <laughs> That's the trick, dang it. Okay. See now how it flares out. And now we'll lay it on like that. So we got some cute little flares. I need more glue. I can see that. Sometimes things don't like to stick to that kind of lace. I noticed. That's a hard lace to stick to. Okay. Right. Yeah, the coin rolls are fun. Okay. So, see, we got the lace in the back, and then we got the eyelash room. Now we got the sheet music. And now we put the little girls on. And I always like to try to tilt it a little bit at least. Right? And then we'll put the little girls on. And we could even put a flower on too. Can we have a flower too? <laughs> and a flower too. I like a flower too. Or something. Because they're cute. And I will dig and get one of those little tiny flowers. Well, we can just use this one. Sitting here, but I have um the teeny weeny ones. Those are really cute. Where should I put it? Up here at the bottom. Maybe at the bottom. Super cute. I know, right? Look. Aw, that's cute. Pretty cute, right? I love it. <laughs> so we got this one. And we got this one. And we got this one. See, we're doing it. We're getting rid of these dang scraps. Oh, crap. There. Okay. Okay, we got this one. Okay, this one now with a big button. What was I going to do with this big button? I mean, I just kind of like it the way it is, I guess. But, but 
I'll find something as I'm sitting here. I'll just leave it. Okay, now these two are green. Green dimes, it says on them. So let's just see what we can find here. Well, here's a piece of green felt flower. I don't know if I like that or not. We'll just look here. Let's see. <clears throat> I have some green, let's see, these lime green, no, nope, that's not the right color, nope, that's not it, we could do, let's see, I love these white pearly kinds, right, the buttons, I love them kind. Let's see. This isn't my normal button stash. Do all these three with buttons since I'm going to just do it like that. Okay. Now my cheesecloth, here it is. These are gonna be so cute. And then we'll go back and figure out what kind of journaling card we're gonna put on the inside. And we can even use our scrap cardstock for that because look how little these are. So that'll be fun too. I have green and white little bows I could put on here. I have to look and see what matches. I'll have to look. And what I do is, is um, if I'm gluing down these buttons, I just take a clip and hold it there so it just stays, you know, so I don't have to hold it. Yeah, I just like big buttons. I don't know. I just do. These are so cute. I love them. So, it's not like they're real big and fancy or anything, but they're just cute. With buttons and cheesecloth, and then we'll put a little tuck spot, little card inside. I can add more too, you know, we don't have to be done either. Sometimes I just do it up just a little bit and then I wait and see what page I'm gonna put it on before I like, I could put, you know, other junk on here, but kind of like to wait and see where it's gonna go too. So those are fun, right? Okay, now we can move these over. And we can make now these kind. I don't know if these are too big eclipse, maybe. I think I need another size, just regular size. Yeah, like these. Okay, we'll do a couple of these. Two. Because I have these little tickets, little tags. And these are fun to make the hidden, the hidden clips. Right, so it has to go on the page like this. Okay, so that means we put a 
tag right here. Glue, 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 see? But it's got to be done. How do we do this now so we don't see it when we're... I Just let me give me a second here. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. Okay. So... Glue, glue, glue. That's what we do. And then you take another one because I want two of them. One on each side so you can't see the clip, right? We'll just see if I know how to do this. I don't even know, really. <laughs> I don't even know, really. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I don't leave this out, how am I going to know where the dang... There we go. Right? Am I thinking this right? I really don't know, I guess. I've not made very many of these. So now when I clip this on, it'll be like this. But it's not very hidden. What the heck am I doing here? Seriously, what do I do, you guys? Like this? But i seen somebody do it on both sides. Then how do you do it? Like, I don't get it. How did they do that? Now I can't remember. What the heck? I forget, do you guys remember? I mean, I can do it like this, but that's not what I was, this isn't what I was thinking here. That's not what I was thinking, although it'll work. That's not what I was trying to do. But I guess for a second here, we'll just do it because the clip's on the bottom, you know, hanging out. I know. What are you asking me, Tanya? I know you sent me some stuff before, didn't you? I still have your card sitting up. There. Well, this isn't what I expected. What the heck? <clears throat> that is not what I expected. Nonetheless, it'll still work, but... What was I thinking here? I seen somebody do tickets. Who was it? Lori Fusco did tickets and it was a hidden clip. I can't remember how she did it now. <laughs> but I wanted to use tags because that's super cute, right? Because these are just cute. But now I don't know what the heck I was doing. But this will go, I think. Oh, yeah. But barely. I don't know what I was thinking here. Maybe I better watch another video. Because <laughs> now I don't know what I was thinking. At all. Anyway. Okay. So now we can make the little cards that go in. Let's see what she did. Oh, yeah. Decoupage and a little square. That's just so cute. Oh, and I see she did decoupage on some of these, too. Right over the top. Oh, look. We didn't do that. So that's a good idea. Taking these and putting napkin over the top of them if you don't like the color or whatever. Cool. She did cheap music. I didn't even see that. And there's flowers and a whole bunch of stuff on here. That's kind of fun. So thanks, Stacy. I think it was Stacy who sent me these. See, she's got gauze and ribbon and flowers and a little word. This is just adorable. I love these. <laughs> that was fun. All right, so I'm going to sit here and make some more. And then um, I'll show them off in group. Right? And then, ooh, these are going to be perfect size. And then... Um, I might do a short tutorial for those who like the short ones, you know. So they see it's an hour long. They won't even watch. You know what I mean? 
Ooh, these banners are going to be cute on here because that's got matching paper, you know, for my next journal I'm doing. These are going to be cute too. Ooh. All right. All right, you guys. I know. Oh, what now? Don't cover the back. Yeah, I know. I seen that, but I seen how they did both of them. They had it covered um, from both sides, Mary. And I can't remember how she did it now. But I'll figure it out. You know, there's all kinds of different kinds of clips. And then and then even these just simple ones, you know, with the scraps of paper that we have sitting here. I mean, she just inked it up and put a flower on it. And it's just cute. You know, it's just cute. Like, what the heck? You know? So we can literally use anything that's on our desk, you know? Yeah, I like the tacky glue patty. It's the best kind that I found anyway. But everybody has their favorite, you know. Okay, so I'll see y'all later. I got some um, new velvet ribbon here, so I'm going to list that in my shop. I'll um, see y'all later, okay? Bye.